Hello everyone, my name is Confidence and in this video we're going to take a look at the Maps widget. We're going to see some ways in which you can customize it to get the most use of it. So for us to get started, I'm going to head over to the widget section and I'm going to drag a new Maps widget into the canvas. And there we go. So right here we have a Maps widget showing up on canvas. And as you already know, you can go ahead to update the name of this widget to Maps. And there we have a new name set for this widget. And the next property we can go ahead to configure for the maps widget is to set an initial location. And right here, we can go ahead to pass a string that will represent the location shown on the map. Say for example, I can pass in Paris. And there we have the map showing up Paris. But if you want more granular control, you can go into the JavaScript mode and passing an object specifying the exact location you want to be shown up on the map. So you can pass in a latitude, a longitude, and a title for that location, and that is what would show up exactly on the map. I'm going to copy this over because we'll be needing it in the next property. The next property we have is the default markers, and this um, specifies where the markers, the red pointers show up on the map. And because the default markers specified here is not shown on the map, that is why we do not have that red pointer showing up. But what we can do is to pass the same location we set on the initial location right here, and we'll see the default markers showing up on the map. So I'm just going to do that. And going back to the map widget, we can see that we have a red pointer specifying the location we set initially right here. And uh, this is also an array in case you did not notice. So you can pass in more than one default marker right here and they will all show up as red pointers on the map. Moving on, we have the ability to enable search on the map widget. And when this is turned on, as we have right here, we have a search bar showing up right here. So this would enable users to be able to type in a new location and select that on the map. If you do not want that showing up, you can disable this and that would be removed from your map. We also have the enable pick location option. And when this is turned on, it is going to allow users to select their own location using the small location picker right here. I'm going to click on this and you can see that my browser is asking me to allow location. So I'm going to disable this and turn this off. And you can see that that has been removed from the widget. We can also allow users create a new marker by turning this on. And when this is turned on, a user can click on a location and then a marker will be created for that location. So I'm just going to click on this area right here and we can see that we have a new marker showing up right there on that location. So I'm going to turn this off. We can also set the default zoom level. So this is really useful if we want to show more area or if we want to zoom in and only allow a specific area to be shown on the map. And we can set the visibility of the map by turning on the switch on or off. We can also go into the JavaScript mode to um, write some JavaScript that would dynamically set the visibility to be on or off. So let's turn that back and we have the visibility on. For actions, we can choose to run an action whenever a marker is clicked on. Say for example, a user selects this marker or clicks on this marker or the other marker we have right here, we can choose to enable an action or execute an action for those events. So we can choose from any of these um, predefined actions shown here on the list, or we can go into the JavaScript modes to write some custom logic for an action we want to be executed whenever that event fires. And the same also goes for the create marker event. Um, when we enable users to create a new marker and then the user select um, a location to create a marker, when this action is configured, whatever action we have specified here would be executed whenever a user creates a marker. So like we have previously, we can select an action to be executed from the list right here, or we can go into the JavaScript mode and write some custom action we want to be um, executed whenever the event fires. So these are the options we have on the maps widget, and I hope you found this video helpful.